All right, I'd like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this project video. <clears throat> All right, guys, so welcome back. So as you heard, this project is sponsored by PCB Way. So for the longest time, I've always wanted to have a rotor that was made out of aluminum. But I don't own a CNC, and I certainly don't have a metal 3D printer. But PCB Way does. Now, all my rotors that I make are all out of PLA, and I've just recently started using uh, PET G because of its uh, stronger properties. But I still always wanted a rotor out of aluminum. Now, I could have gone out and bought a disc or an aluminum plate, manually cut it out, and, you know figured out a way to connect the magnets to it and drill a hole in the center and put a bearing in there, but it would not be um, accurate at all. So I worked with PCB Way and it couldn't have been simpler. I simply went onto their website, uh, chose the 3D printing format, chose the material, which ranged from aluminum to stainless steel to titanium, but I wanted to do aluminum, right? And chose my unit of measurement, uploaded the STL file, and within a day or so, I think within a day, it was already in the production, which you can follow along. And within a couple of days after that, it was on its way to me. So let's see what they sent me. So this is the peach right here. I'll show you that later on. And here's the invoice. We don't need to see that. And they sent me a nice plaque PCB way. Prototyping's easier. What is this? Oh, that's cool. It's a, uh, it's a metal plate that has all of the circuitry components on it and what they do. That's kind of cool. What else did they send me? Some stickers. Oh, this is really cool. A PCB ruler. A couple of, I don't know if they send this to everybody when they order something. But that's really cool. I'm going to use these. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, so let's see. Where's the... Here's where, So I started out small. Because I, I, I have a budget with PCB Way. So I wanted to get started out with something small. A small rotor, which I'm going to add some of my 3D printing to it. This is really cool. So it's kind of like a rough finish. And I, and I mean, obviously I've already opened this box and I checked it out and it's dimensionally accurate within half a tenth of a millimeter. I've got to um, tap these holes and I purposely made the indents for the two bearings shallow. So the bearings are going to stick up about a millimeter and a half or two. And I'm going to 3D print a black cap that's going to go over this. Let's see, how, let's see what it measures in millimeters. Yep, right on, 55. Yeah, that's pretty good. Anyway, so yeah, this is kind of cool. It's got a wicket. It's really heavy for such a small piece. But I'm going to get this guy buttoned up or fixed up, tap these holes, press the bearings in there. And I made the holes uh, the size so that I can press fit my um, ceramic bearings in there. Yeah, cool. All right, guys.
Thank you, PCBUA. Stay tuned. All right, so I got it drilled and tapped. I didn't know what size hole or what size bolt I was going to be using to hold these guys on. These are N52s, and they're nice because they're countersunk on both sides. So I can go north, south, north, south. But I didn't know what size because I hadn't ordered those yet. So I had to drill and tap these for a uh, 832. Yeah, I think it was an 832. And it drilled really nice. I was really surprised for being 3D printed aluminum. It was really nice and it tapped really easy. But I got to tell you, I was nervous tapping it. Normally with aluminum, I would just tap it with a um, a gun, a, um, um, a cordless drill. I would just work, work, work. But um, I used a hand tap to tap these because I did not want to break the tap off in there. That would have been disastrous. And so these are the parts I was telling you about. I'm going to 3D print. They're going to go right on like that and snug the um, snug the uh, bearing. All right, so stay tuned. And that's how it's going to look like that. Man, I got it all dirty. I don't know how to clean. This is like brushed aluminum. I don't know how to clean it. Got it all dirty with my gross hands. So stupid. I was wearing gloves and then I took them off for a second. But yeah, that should hold that really nice and tight. I got a lot of threads in there. It's about down to here. So let me get the rest of them done. And the other thing printed out. And we'll get to town with this guy. Stay tuned. So I decided to take it under the wire wheel to see what it would look like. And it came out pretty cool. It, it, it goes back to a shiny aluminum. So there's the brush side. And that's the side that I... Uh, wire wheeled. I think I like the brush side more, but I made it really dirty. So a little wire wheel brings out the actual aluminum or the aluminum look. Feels harder than aluminum too, but it's definitely aluminum. All right. Let me see how many more times I could say the word aluminum. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Stay tuned. All right. So here it goes. I got a guy that's doing some kind of cutting or something over in the next yard. So now I put these guys in like that. Got to get the I got to figure out a way to get some stainless steel Allen wrenches. Yeah, that'll work. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to maglev this. I'm going to put a, um, a ring magnet here. And so it'll sit in one of my stands. I forget which one. Yeah, it's going to work out good. All right, stay tuned. All right, so I'll probably use this stand. It spins really nice. Nice and level, nice and straight, nice and heavy too. So I'm probably going to use this stand. I'll put a magnet here, a ring magnet here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Put a ring magnet here and then one down here. Yeah, something like that. All right, stay tuned. Yeah, these bearings I got are really good. That's just a little hand spin and it's going really well. All right, let me 
gonna get some I decided I wasn't gonna do the maglev yet I'm going to do the maglev but for right now I'm gonna just get it going so stay tuned oh yeah and if I seem weird in the way that I'm filming things I'm testing out a new um, retractable arm so that I won't hold the um, camera all the time so it doesn't you know so you don't get any uh, stuff you know what I mean So yeah, let me get some coils set up. Stay tuned. Oh, I got to turn that thing down. That thing is flying. Oh, I, I promise I wasn't going to say it anymore. It's spinning really fast. My first PVC way 3D printed aluminum rotor. Hopefully one of many. Wow, that thing is going nice. Let me turn it down. There's seven volts. Seven volts in. And because it's in aluminum and screwed in, I should be all right. But that's going really well just for 7 volts coming in. God, I love that thing. Came out really nice. This is why I always wanted to do an aluminum rotor. Because they really fly. And these bearings are really good too. And I'm using the JL94 circuit, the dual JL94 circuit. The coils I'm using aren't that great. They're okay. But wow. For 7 volts. It's going really nice. Thank you, PCB Ray. Yeah, I got a figure out a different style rotor and have these guys make it for me. I can watch that thing all day. I don't know how it looks on the camera. But in real life, it looks awesome. Getting some decent output. Let me turn it up. There's 10 volts. Kind of scared a little bit. There's 11 volts in. Yeah, I'm a little bit. I'm not going to. I am not going to press that. Even though I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay. So this is a combination. Well, the rotor is PCB way, 3D printed SLM aluminum. I think it's uh, I think it's SLM. And I 3D printed some PLA caps to go around the top of the bearing. So I married the two technologies together. Yeah, that's going really nice. All right, I think that's probably it, but I'm probably gonna try it on different set of uh, coils and I do wanna do the maglev. So stay tuned. I gotta be careful. I hit my knuckle on that thing when it was spinning super high speed it didn't break the skin but i had enough problems with my fingers i don't need any more missing fingers these guys by the way are healing up okay the nails are coming in slowly but surely but that was kind of scary i don't know if you guys remember me telling you about that anyway stay tuned all right so i have it the maglev it, you can see it's floating
Yeah. I'm debating. So you can see that the shaft is also spinning in these bearings here. And there's a little ball bearing underneath this solid rod. So that's contributing to the, the good spin off. I hold it. It spins just fine. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out a way to trap this so it doesn't spin. Yeah, I have two huge magnets with light poles facing each other. I don't know if you can see that down there. Uh, yeah, you can see the magnet right there. And there's another one right up underneath it. Um, let me see, let me see. Because if I don't hold this down, it, it tends to bounce. I don't care about the bouncing, but I don't want it to bounce the shaft because then it will knock the shaft right out. So let me figure out a way to trap that shaft. Stay tuned. So I'm going to use one RD 3DP, um, redesigned 3DP's brakes for the, uh, the Newman motor. Put it up top here. And just screw it in and then screw up um, a small little uh, set screw in there. Yeah, that should work. Stay tuned. I knew that old channel from my old 3D printer, the, I think it's 20 millimeter channel. It holds the coil perfectly. I knew it would come in handy. All right, let me get it wired up and get it going. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Got a nice little bounce to it. Stay tuned. There it goes. Little floater. Maglev. I don't know if you can see it down there. Let me... Uh, hold on. Let me pause for a second. Sorry about that. I had to take it out of the stand so I could show you. Oh, I got to get a better magnet in there. That one's flying all over the place. Well, it's... It looks like it is on the camera. In real life, it looks like it's just staying still. It's not doing anything. Yeah, I got to get a tighter magnet. All right, let me switch that out. Stay tuned. I got to see if I can find some tighter magnets. Those are working, but they are giving that weird flipping sound. Or... They're working, though. My belt got caught on the thing, but I couldn't stand up. Getting some decent output, as always, from the JL94 circuit. Yeah, I don't like that sound. I got to figure out a better way to do the maglev. Let's, let's juice it up a little bit here. In real life, it doesn't flicker the way it does on the camera. It's just one see-through. It looks almost clear if it's going so fast. Yeah, I got to do something about the magnets. Anyway, thank you, PCB Way. My first, and hopefully not my last, rotor from them came out beautiful super easy to do basically upload the STL file choose the material and the units of measurement that was it and it came back with really good tolerances as good if not better than what I get on my 3D printer and I get pretty good tolerances on my 3D printer so yeah thanks for watching guys ciao